Okay, in this lesson right here, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how we can just go about setting up some very basic terrain in a level. Now, we're not going to show you how we'd go about creating all of the peaks and valleys, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That'll come a little bit later on. This is just getting some terrain in a level. That's all. Starting out nice and simple. Now, Logan's going to start out by creating a very, very large room for us. And then from there, show you what's involved in adding in the terrain. So take it away, Logan. Okay, first I want to go ahead and load up a texture set just so we can go ahead and get everything ready to rock and grab a good terrain set. So let's see, grab something other than what I want to use for the terrain itself. Let's say, I don't know, that one for the main box. And with that, go ahead and grab a cube. And for the properties, now, like we said, we want a very large cube because this is going to be more like an outdoor type area. So 4,096 mm -hmm. by 8,448 mm -hmm. by 8,448. Yep, that's definitely big. So with that in place, go ahead and subtract that out. And now, got plenty of room, but we need to go ahead and specify that this area, or more accurately, this zone, can contain a uh, terrain. So we'll go ahead and open up the Actor Class Browser, expand Info, and grab a Zone Info. Now I'm going to add this in the top view just so I have it roughly centered inside this cube. So with that added, you can also notice that it's very small compared to this room, so I'm going to go ahead and open up its properties. And while this isn't totally necessary, I'm going to go under uh, the display and set the draw scale to about 5, just in case I would need to get to it later. This actually isn't overly necessary for the zone info itself, because after this uh, one setting under zone info, B terrain zone, once we set that to true, that's about where we're done with the zone info. But just in case I want to refer back to it or get a good marker on the center of this cube. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to see it with the icon scaled up like that. So we specified that this zone can contain terrain. So now we're going to go ahead and actually create it. Now, that's right here is the terrain info actor. But I'm actually going to create it through the terrain editing dialog simply so that I'll have both the height map and the actual actor itself created at the same time. So, with the train editing dialog open, you'll notice there's no train infos currently in the level. So I'll go down to New, click on New, and now I'm asked what package and name do I want for my height map. For the package, I'll use my level, just so that this is all stored with the map itself. And for name, I don't know, be creative and pick something like Terrain 1. And its uh, X and Y size will set those to 128. This is the size of the texture that the height map will be based off of. And the size of your train is actually based off the size of the height map. So if you were to make a really a much larger level, you could do 256 or as large as you wanted to. But this will define how big your train is actually going to be. You'll notice that this, the actual pixels of the texture correlate to a much larger area on the train itself. As you'll see, it'll almost fill up this 8,000 unit wide box. And finally, height. What this is is the initial um, color of the uh, of the overall grayscale. Now, uh, 32,768 is actually midway, so mid-height, meaning that your terrain will be perfectly level with the actor itself. And it's recommend that, recommended that you leave it there unless you need it offset from the terrain info actor. So with those in place, I'll go ahead and hit OK. And there we've got terrain 1. It's in the... In, it's and Unreal's internal 16-bit grayscale, so we'll have the full accuracy. And with that in place, um, we've actually got the terrain technically exists. If we were to go and say, let me hunt down the uh, the train info actor itself. Now this one I will go ahead and set its draw scale larger, simply because this will be very useful to get back to later. So if it's scaled up so I can get to it. Now we could, let me pan back a little so I can see where it added. If we were to do a rebuild and then switch over to shaded since we don't have lights, check out the little uh, the tool we've got. It's acting like there's a plane, even though we can't see that. It's still invisible. That's because we, we have no way of saying what texture is on it. We define textures through layers. Now, we're going to get into layers a little bit deeper in just a minute, but for the time being, so that we can see this, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the Layers tab, click on the first undefined slot, and hit New. Now, real quick, before you do that, did we want to select another texture? Um, we could, just to differentiate. So that yeah, just so it doesn't blend in. And grab a brighter texture. And now I can hit new. And the reason we had that texture selected is when it creates this new layer, it'll grab whatever your current texture is. Exactly. So, package, we're also going to store this in my level. And the name will be layer 1. Alpha height and width will be 128, so we keep all our texture values matching. Now, this alpha fill... 
uh, black would represent perfectly transparent. And for this base layer, we want it to be opaque because, well, I mean, it's it's the base. You're not ever going to want to see through your terrain at all. So the very base layer should be opaque. And we're just going to go ahead and expand that and click on the three dots and grab a completely white color. So now we'll have an opaque base layer. Uh, fill color is irrelevant since we're going to, going to be using a texture with this. And UNV scale, this represents the texture scale um, uh, once the, the layer is created. And we're going to set that to 8 and 8, just so it's not like a solid color from not having any scale or scale of 1. So with that, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And there, now we can ah. actually see the terrain. So it makes sense that we have this uh, extra tool over it. And that's ba uh, the basics of creating terrain. I mean, it's simply defining that this zone can contain terrain using that zone info. Then creating a zone uh, terrain info actor by going into the terrain editing dialog. And again, so that we can create, by using the new button, create both the terrain and the height map itself. As a matter of fact, I can actually open up the texture browser and switch over to my level. And you'll see that we have terrain 1. So this is the actual terrain map that's being used to define the height. Of course, every, it's all one gray color, so we have a flat terrain. And finally, just went over to layers and actually created a layer so we'd have something to look at. The layer would define uh, what the texture is and how it's displayed. So obviously, having a layer would allow us to actually see our terrain. Very, very cool. Excellent job, Logan. All right, so that's going to wrap up this lesson right here. Thanks, everyone.